Hey everyone, I'm Moose. I'm Matt, we're from Both My Valentine. Well, what's been in your highlights on the summer tour so far? Good shows, it's easy for us, we're just doing 45 minutes, so that's just like a walk in the park. Wake up, <laughs> yep, play, yeah, and get drunk with Slayer. Has Kerry King taught you anything? Or? Dude can drink a lot of uh, liquor. Has he drunk you under the table? Many times. Do you have to t carry Matt and Moose home? Or? I control my urges. Yeah. I'll, I'll partake, but I know when to cut it off, unlike these guys. Every time we come down here, the shows are great. The crowd on here are very vocal. There's no, we're not allowed to like have anyone backstage. That's the fun part, you know? You get all people backstage hanging out. It's just the bands, which is still a good thing. So they would have you backstage if they could, but they've been told not to. Are you guys writing any new music yet? I know you put out a record like six months ago. We do this. We go to Japan for a few days with Maiden get back, have another bit of time off, and then I think I'm going to LA for about a month. Start writing with a producer we're going to use, Don, who worked on Fever, and just see how it goes, you know? No pressure, no kind of game plan. She's going to go over, hang out, write some shit, yeah. see what happens. Do you feel like there's less pressure the more successful you are? I personally do, yeah. I, I just, I really have, I don't, this is going to sound bad, I don't go give on. a shit anymore. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I've got anything to prove. And that's the way we've always done every, our records and stuff, and look where it's got us, so. Why would it change now, you know? It's always like pleasing us first, even though the fans are obviously the most important thing and they've put us where we are, we always write for us rather than them. Yeah. And if we find it cool, they just seem to dig it too, so. And that's going to be what will take you through to sort of maiden time, yeah, I know, think. If, you know, hopefully, you know, that's what we're aiming for. They've kind of got the plane thing locked down. Do you reckon like you could get a helicopter? I don't know. I, um, if you so had to pick a vehicle, um, you know, a fantasy vehicle, what would it be? A uh, turbocharged jet ski. Bullet, bullet on the water. Australia, just go down the coast, man. It's all good. It's only like 600 kilometers between venues, really. I'd have a tank. Yeah. And where the gun is, I'd have a cock. The dildo <laughs> gun. And maybe you could kind of ro roll next to each other, like you could be on land and you could be on sea. Yeah. Yeah. And if you see any sharks, f*** them with your dildo. Yeah. Shoot my cock and boom. <laughs> it's a bit dick fixated, but you know, I say, you're a bullet for my Valentine. You can do whatever you want. You we want, yeah. man. We always do, anyways. You guys um opened for Maiden a few years ago. I remember I yeah. spoke to you guys on the Scream Aim Fire tour. Have things changed? I know at that point you're like people are throwing stuff at us because Maiden are a hard crowd. Have they warmed up? Is there love now between you and the Maiden fans? We're about to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think are you ready to step back into the ring, man? Are you are you afraid? Bring it on! Yeah. Afraid of shit. It's in Japan, and Japan, we you know we do huge shows ourselves in Japan, yeah. and they're notoriously respectful. So I don't think anything bad will happen, you know. And if they do, then I'm just. I'll just bring it on anyways. Yeah, will you punch on, Matt? Will you j get in the crowd? Sometimes it's, I'm close. You know, someone disrespecting you and giving you so much abuse. You know, we're playing music, we're not up there to be abused physically. Yeah, you know what I mean? So if you want to fucking throw stuff at me, throw it to my face when I'm standing in front of you. We're medium fans as well, you know. Yeah, okay. We want to get off and watch them, you know. <laughs> Do you believe that there will be the apocalypse next year? Or? I hope not. We just f***ing signed a massive merch deal and we're loaded. <laughs> Better not, man. Who said that shit? John Bishop or something like that. Eh? Nostradamus! We got some t-shirts to sell, guys. Come on. We don't. Because we just got the advance, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a f*** if they sell or not. Hopefully he's wrong. Who have you been your closest sort of brother bands? Boys in 36 Crazy Fists. Yeah. They were the first band whoever we toured with ever, like seven years ago, whatever. So there's always a huge bond with us and those guys, oh. like for real. They're, they are number one. Regardless, See, they grow such better beards than us, though. <laughs> Have you seen Brock's beard, man? What yeah, is up with awesome. his beard? Can you, you know, grow one or not? I uh, no, not oh. really. I can try, but I just look like a tramp. Have you written lyrics or anything for the next sort of? Um, I'm a total lazy songwriter, you know. And until we approach writing an album, that is when I will write <laughs> stuff, you know. Uh, Moose was actually saying that you um used to write pretty girly lyrics and in, in, on the first record, and he looks a bit worried now. You know, girls buy records too. No, well, it's true. I'll kick no, bum, no. no. Compared to the lyrics okay. on Scream and Fire, yeah. they're girly. Are you feeling romantical on the, on this record? Will there be some power ballads? Not anymore. You have nice oh. eyes. Oh, thank you. Go on. Well, no. Was, was it inappropriate? Say, go on. Uh, uh, you got nice You went too far, didn't you? You had to go there. I'm a drummer. Yeah. Do you think drummers share a certain uh, chromosome? With, with what? Cavemen? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> they like to hit things hard and they just grunt a lot. <laughs> have you actually stepped back in evolution, Moose? Yes. That's why I'm called Moose. How did you boys meet? Uh, in school. Yeah. We started as a covers band, as most kids do with yeah. your mates. You just jam your favourite bands and try to anyways. And Eventually that gets boring and you either want to make something of it or just you don't care and we want to make something. So we start to dabble in writing our own stuff. And however many years later, we sell millions of records. Yeah, you sell yeah. millions of records, is that weird? You're kind of stepping up into that. It's not weird. Yeah. No, no, no you, just, they, uh, they were good records. Thanks very yeah. much. <laughs> Where a band like us gets the enjoyment, you get the buzz, that's where you, yeah. you can really see if you're still on ascendancy or not, because record sales unfortunately don't mean shit anymore. Do you actually get any money from, from millions of records? Um, or? Honestly, no, you don't. That really sucks. 
It does suck, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. But you're still having an awesome time. Yeah, it's amazing. What was the first metal record you ever bought? Uh, Metallica, Metallica. Yeah. Roots, Sepultura. Max uh, is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's old. Yeah, he's way old. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make him he, not awesome, I'm just saying he's, he's getting on, you know. Yeah. What I mean? He's still yeah. doing it though. Yeah, he's still out there. It, would you be willing to reveal a secret about each other that you've never revealed before? Do you want Paj or Jay? Yeah, both. I, I gotta be careful here. Yeah, Paj, it'll be fine. You'll, okay. you'll be fine. Jay got fingered in school once. <laughs> in science. By who? I can't reveal that information. No, no, that was it his choice or he, it was not uh, his choice? Semi probably, knowing Jay. And Paj lit on days off. He likes to knit like scarves and stuff. It's good for us in the winter time when we like tour Europe. Paddle knit a nice scarf. You made me a hat. That's adorable. It's not. What is it? Send him like wool and, and new needles. The man needs yarn. What's the biggest misconception about Bullet for My Valentine? Oh, there's loads over the years. People either love us or hate us, you know yeah. what I mean? Is that a strange sort of state of affairs? As long as it's a f an extreme kind of emotion, I don't care which one it is. Yeah. It just means they're paying attention. Yeah.